Hey, Shalom. Our uh, praises to Yahweh Bashem. Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakodashe. Much mercy uh, to you, sincere brothers out there at the true house of David. All you sincere brothers that's in the spirit, that understand uh, that you're of God and you understand the Lord's agreement, you understand his covenant in, this, in these times. Uh, Shalom to all you believers. <clears throat> And um, when you go into eternal life, that gives you immortality. Immortality is eternal life. That means you will understand Yahweh Shai. There is no eternal life denying Yahweh Shai and co not confessing him. That, that word confess, it goes into agreeing with the Lord. It also goes into honoring the Lord. So that means you have to honor his covenant over the old law of Moses right now. Therefore, you guys that are teaching uh, new bodies and you're waiting on some carnal shit, you won't never get it. A, a wicked generation, they're, they're waiting on their bodies to change and you motherfuckers can't even change your mind. All you false prophets, all you false prophet camps out there, all you dudes in these big ass groups and you, you know who the fuck you are. So there is no immortal bodies without you fucking changing your mind. You cannot change your fucking body and then think you, you cannot think you, your body's going to change and you motherfuckers ain't even changing your mind. You know, so it's real heavy in these times that we have uh, so many fucking false prophets teaching bullshit. Oh, we're going to get these glorious bodies. Oh, we're going to do this. You ain't going to do a goddamn thing. Because if you're not able to repent, you those glorious bodies or whatever the fuck you guys think, you know, that is not for you guys. You don't know the Lord. If you knew the Lord, you would agree with them and you would tell your fucking elders they're, that they're going off. Just like the rest of you guys in these groups. It don't matter how much fucking knowledge a lot of you guys know because... You guys base a man of the Lord on how much fucking knowledge you know about Esau. You know, that 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 don't mean a goddamn thing. If you can't fucking repent, um, you're not immortal at all. Let me grab something real quick. Because a lot of you guys, you're just carnal. And you can put carnal lessons together. But you, one thing you won't hear guys say is you have to repent unto the new covenant. If you cannot repent unto the new covenant, then you do not... You, 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 you being immortal, that's it, it, it. You're not immortal. You don't even know God, bro. You can't even repent until the, the Lord's uh, covenant. This shit crazy. I was watching one of these fucking guys in these camps uh, talking about some, uh, we're going to have these glorious bodies. But nobody's teaching repenting. All you motherfuckers are celebrating the old law, the old Passover. So you're not even following Moses, bro. This is uh, Matthew 16 and 4. A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. A wicked and an adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. That's right. So what they need to see, they need to see some bodies. And you guys can't even change your fucking mind first. So, like it. so all that means is that a lot of you guys are carnal. You need a sign before you can believe in a new covenant. So that means you're not of it. And when you go to the Last Supper, the lamb that they were eating, they were eating Yahweh Shai. They wouldn't eat no lamb. So if you're actually following Yahweh Shai, um, the lamb is actually in you. You don't have to fucking eat no carnal lamb. All you guys that are still holding these old sacrificial laws, uh, you're still of the old. You're still of the flesh. Matthew 16 and 4, wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. There shall be no sign. There shall be no sign given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. Right. So guys, that's teaching against the new covenant. You will not get any new bodies. And the only sign you're getting is us uh, speaking, uh, prophesying the Lord, teaching the new covenant. This is the sign that you're getting. And all you guys are against it. There is no fucking new bodies without you repenting. You're not going to get no glorious bodies. You're going to die. 
in this in this body that you guys are in, you're going to die on the side because you're not teaching men to repent unto you, Shai. You're not waiting to get new bodies. You're not going to get new bodies then believe. That, that don't make any sense. Faith is the substance of things hoped for not seen. That means you guys don't have any faith. You guys are fucking carnal. And the new body of Yahawashah is the third temple of God. But you're not a part of it. If you're if you're if you're putting the covenant off, you're not a part of the new covenant. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It is fucking crazy what guys are teaching. God said we're gonna get those glorious bodies. You ain't gonna get no glorious shit. Get the fuck out of here. You guys are against God. All you guys in these camps, you're the, you're you're like those uh those Sanhedrin's that came against Stephen. You're like those churches that came against Stephen and stoned him to death. You're you're in the spirit of uh them wanting to uh stone the Lord. You see? So it is it is very heavy. Uh in these times uh what guys are teaching, there is no uh new bodies. The Lord said, renew your mind. Uh, it's like guys are 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 counting their eggs before they hatch, so to speak. They're like moving three steps ahead of what you're supposed to do first. You can't think about getting anything glorious and or being immortal without repenting, bro. Like it's heavy. It's very heavy in this time. Heavy, man. The Lord is not in guys, bro. Uh, Romans four seven and four says, "Wherefore, my brethren, ye also are become dead to the law by the body of the anointed. Ye also are become dead to the law by the body of the anointed. You, we are dead to the old law of Moses. We are dead to them old Passovers." You guys still celebrating that? You're not in the spirit. That's why you talk about bodies because you're carnal. So the new laws written inside of a few men in these days, not everybody. The new law allows you to believe in the new covenant. I mean, the 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 Yahweh Shai being in you allows you to agree with the new covenant and believe on it without seeing any fucking bodies. <laughs> Crazy. You, you fucking carnal motherfuckers, bro. It says, wherefore, my brother, you have also become dead to the law by the body of the anointed. So a lot of you guys are still keeping the old Passover laws and you're not celebrating Yahweh Shai. You're not confessing him. You're not agreeing. That word uh, confess also goes into agreeing. You're not agreeing with the Lord's covenant. It says, you also are become dead to the law by the body of the anointed. So if you're a part of Yahweh Shai, that old law is dead. It, it, it's not working and it's dead anyway it says that you that you should be married to another even to him who is raised from the dead that we should bring forth fruit unto the power right exactly so if you are in the anointed the old laws they don't matter that's why in these times these guys they don't have any power over us because they're still in the old they're they're, they're pushing the old they're trying to keep this world it is heavy what's going on. Let me read this too. Romans 8. <clears throat> and um, guys, are, guys are carnal. The guys are carnal. And you really can't break this down to them because they, they are of the world. So it's like you really can't explain the new covenant to these carnal motherfuckers because they, they have to see something. Romans 8 and 10. Romans 8 and 10. It says... And if the anointed be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. So we're dead to this world and you only can be you only have eternal life and you're only immortal through the righteousness of your house. Denying the covenant, you're not righteous. You're not immortal. Denying the covenant. Immortal to be immortal is righteousness. Righteousness is immortal. That's what it tells you in Wisdom of Solomon. The righteousness of Yahweh Shai, that's eternal life. So if, if guys actually knew the Lord, right, 
then then you you then you will have eternal life. By you're not celebrating the covenant or agreeing with it, you're you don't have eternal life. You're carnal, man. You're you're wicked. You're wicked in these last days. And guys are trying to hold this world up. That's that's what's really going on. Cause by guys not celebrating the new covenant or teaching against it, that keeps this world going. All right, and that that has the elect confused. Romans 8 and 10. And if there be the anointing in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Right. So you're you're only immortal if you're in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, if you're under him, if if the Lord is in you, the Lord say he'll be in you. That is the laws being written in you, Yahweh Shai being in you. It says, it says, but if the spirit of him that raised up Yahweh Shai from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up the anointed from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies. He that raised up the anointed from the dead shall quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. So you're not immortal, uh, not in the covenant, not having the Lord dwell in you. Guys are talking about new bodies, right? And you're not even repenting in the body that you're in. You have to glorify Yahweh Shai in this body. You see? Matter of fact, let me read something, man. You guys teaching all these glorious bodies. You're not even fucking repenting. <laughs> you, know, you guys are cardinal, man. You guys are cardinal as hell. It's not for you to repent. You guys are against the Lord in these last days. And, it, and there's really nothing you can... Um, it is nothing you can actually do. Uh, 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of power, and the spirit of power dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of power. Right, so I'm hearing shit that guys are teaching that it's okay to smoke and all types of stupid ass shit. If, if you guys, a lot, you guys that's teaching that shit, talking about some it's okay and all that bullshit, you guys ain't of the new covenant. Or you you got a lot of guys in the new covenant. You mean you this this ain't even for you, man. And a lot of you guys are teaching because you're just trying to get back at camps and shit. We're teaching because the Lord is actually in us, man. That actually revealed um, Himself unto us, and that that is in us. We actually uh, renewed our heart. We have the heart and the mind of the Lord to do the right thing. The Spirit of Truth is dwelling within us. You know, we actually have compassion to teach brothers the right shit. A lot of you guys are teaching against the new covenant so you could keep your place in the world. We're not teaching the new covenant for that. A lot of you guys are teaching the new covenant because of envy and strife. But Paul said either for that or even righteousness or even being against being uh, either. Either way, it's actually good because the new covenant is going out. But a lot of you guys that are teaching the new covenant, you're not of it at all, man. You're not of it. And teaching guys that it's okay for them to defile their temple. You're a goddamn clown in these last days. That's why by us teaching the way that we teach, a lot of guys, if they're not lining up with what the Lord is saying and like the things that we're teaching of the new covenant and you can't repent unto it, you're not of God at all. You got these guys in these camps talking about uh, bodies, the glorious bodies. You're not even fucking repenting, bro. So let me grab something real quick. So guys that are not agreeing with the new covenant, you're not in the Holy Spirit, man. You're of the world. You're not you're not going to get any fucking glorious bodies. All right. You're not going to get no glorious uh, bodies. <laughs> you're not going to get anything but death on this side. A lot of you guys woke up to the truth for everlasting shame and contempt. You see, you woke up to figure out that you're false prophets because you're you're hanging around false prophet elders and these groups of false prophet groups, which they're not built on the tenets and the laws of the new covenant. That is the new law. There is no spirit in the old covenant. First Corinthians 6 and 19. What if we he says, what know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? Right, and a lot of guys are not ghosts. They're highly esteemed, and they're they're honoring guys of this world. That's why the Lord said you're an abomination. They said, and it says, "Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you?" Right. So the Lord is in certain of us, 
which you have a power and ye are not of your own. Right. So this ain't our body. Our body is owned by the spirit of the Lord. The Lord owns us. And that's why when you go to Hebrews, the Lord says, certain of us, we were perfected forever to really understand God. If you guys really understood God, you'd be pushing repentance instead of waiting on new bodies. Like, like the carnal fucking beast you are. Talking about some new bodies and you're not pushing repentance. The Lord, the Lord said, renew your mind. He didn't say renew your body. He didn't say wait on a body. Are you carnal motherfuckers out there, bro? All from the fucking West Coast to the East Coast, all over. You camps all over teaching this bullshit. Because you know if the elect really repent, you guys won't be won't have no camps. And that's why a lot of guys are teaching against the new covenant because they're trying to keep guys, they're trying to keep rule over men. Because you got a bunch of carnal fucking niggas that can't repent unto God because they're damned in this time. So they're trying to keep as many as guys as with them. You're not going to get no new bodies. The Lord said, renew your mind. Where's the scriptures where the Lord said you need a new body first? Where's that at? The Lord never said that. Paul never said that either. And your bodies are never going to change by you not repenting. I don't know. Like guys are guys wanting their body to change. Then their mind's going to change. That shit backwards. How the fuck your body going to change and you ain't changing your mind? Goddamn clowns. First Corinthians 6 and 20. For ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify the power in your body and in your spirit, which are the powers. That's right. So us brothers that's of God, we're going to glorify the Lord and his covenant in this body, not no new body. Let me read that again. All right. All you goddamn clowns. You don't need a new body to be in no covenant for you are brought with a price. And this is for brothers. This is just more edification for you brothers that know what's up. Before all you got them clowns that say you're going to get some bodies, you're immortal. You're not immortal. You don't have eternal life. You don't know. You don't know God. First Corinthians six and 20 for you are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. He didn't, it didn't say a new body. And in your spirit, which are the powers. Right. So that the body of Yahweh Shai is the body of the third temple. You see. Yeah, it is heavy, man. Romans uh, 12. And uh, 1. It's easy, man. This is real easy to break down. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of our power, that ye present your bodies, this body you're in, <laughs> not a new body. It's real easy, man. I could, I could break this down uh, uh, like so many different ways, bro. This body right here. Not no new body. So are you guys waiting on a new body that's false doctrine? In this body, you're a fucking reprobate teaching that shit. There is no immortality without repenting. That shit is backwards. You guys are trying to like move three steps ahead and really, they're, they're like missing whole steps. It's crazy. The first step is repenting, bro, not being against the covenant. That is the first step. Now, Romans 12 and 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, by the mercies of power, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the power, which is your reasonable service, your body that you're in. Is that sacrifice? Not no new body. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Not no body. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, not your body. Shh. Hey, like Morpheus said, the, the, the body can't work without the mind. So guys think that they're going to get a new body, then a new mind. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> guys, the scriptures say that we have the mind of the Lord. You're not going to get no body but a dead body. You're going to die in that body, teaching that false doctrine. And, and a lot of you guys have been warned, bro. You've been warned. You've been warned. It's just that you guys are the world. That's all. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove which is good and acceptable and perfect will of power. So your body that you're in is the sacrifice. 
you have to renew your mind in this body that you're in. So guys, teaching new immortal bodies without repainting, that's that's more false doctrine. You guys teaching that stupid shit. You guys are only teaching that because you're part of this world, man. For I say unto you through the grace that is given unto me. So grace ain't for everybody. It says, to every man that is among you, think not of himself more highly than he ought to think, but think soberly according to the power have dealt to every man the measure of faith. Right? So what we're saying is, by guys saying they need a new body, they don't have any faith. All right? This is what guys are saying. They said they need some new bodies first. The fuck out of here. For as we have many members in one body, and all the members have not the same office, so we being many are one body in the anointed, and every member is one of another. So we being many in one body in the anointed. So the real new body is the third temple. All right. You goddamn clowns in this time. There is no new body without you renewing your mind. The Lord said renew your mind. It's simple. It's very easy, man. I could break this down. So we've broken it down so many ways. It's just that we're dealing with a generation of snakes, man. A lot of guys are snakes. And, and if you're blessed to come out of this, um, if you're if the Lord have mercy on you, bring you out these camps, you're blessed. But if you're in these camps right now, you're amongst the fucking generation of snakes and vipers. And you're amongst a, you're around a bunch of guys that's very deceitful. There is no new body without changing your fucking mind. All right. And you're not immortal without repenting unto the new covenant. It's crazy, man. Guys are counting steps, three, four, five steps ahead. And can't even do the first step. Heavy, bro. Now, John 3 and 3, and Yahweh Shai answered unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee. Right, you guys are, well, I ain't going to say a lot of you guys are like Nicodemus, but a lot of you guys are coming over here at night, or you sneak over to our pages. And I'm telling you motherfuckers this, if you cannot repent unto the new covenant and come out of the world, like the scriptures tell you in Romans, it's not that you being a Jew on an outwardly and being honored and being of the world, it's you being of a Jew inwardly, the inward man. That's where Yahweh Shai is. He's in the inside of certain of us. And he's not with a lot of you guys because you wouldn't be saying the shit you're saying. John 3 and 3. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of power. So that's why guys ain't seeing the power. They don't know the Lord. When you can't see the kingdom of power, that means you don't know the Lord because the Lord told you right here, and Luke, real quick, that the kingdom of heaven is within you. So I don't know, I don't know what bodies you guys are waiting on. Your, your bodies are gonna drop and, and, and rot. That's what's gonna happen to your body. You ain't gonna get a new body, you're gonna get a dead body. Luke 17, you're dead right now because you don't see the power. You don't see, you don't understand the Lord, you don't know the Lord, you don't have eternal life. If you had eternal life, you know that there's no immortality without repenting, bro. It's crazy. Luke 17 and 21. Neither they shall say, lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of power is within you, right? The kingdom of power ain't in everybody. It's in the Lord's men. It's in his disciples. It was in the apostles. That's in us few. And a lot of guys don't like it because they're not a part of this. So that you have to renew your mind and the body that you're in. All right. <laughs> you guys, bro. You guys are carnal, man. But this is for you brothers that believe that know what it is, man. We're not under the old law of Moses. We're under Yahweh Shai's new law. Which Yahweh Shai's new law is only exclusive unto the elect. That's why many guys cannot agree with it. Hey, but with that, hey, Shalom. I speak to you brothers on the new one. On the next one, continue to repent. Hey, Shalom. Repent. Hey, Shalom.